ਅੱਜ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਇੰਟਰਪਟ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ ਹੈਰੀਟੇਜ ਐਂਡ ਮਲਟੀਕਲਚਰਿਜ਼ਮ ਆਨਰੇਬਲ ਪਾਬਲੋ ਰੋਡਰਿਗਸ ਆਏ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਅਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਈ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਇਹੋ ਜਿਹੀਆਂ ਕਰ ਲਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਰੀਸੈਂਟਲੀ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਬਣੇ ਹਨ ਅਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਾਈਚਾਰੇ ਲਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਦਿਲਚਸਪੀ ਰੱਖਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਮਲਟੀਕਲਚਰਿਜ਼ਮ ਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਨਸੈਪਟ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਪੀਅਰ ਲਈ ਟਰੂ ਰੋਹਰਾ ਨੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਮੁਲਕ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਂਦਾ ਸੀ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਚਰਚਾ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀ ਨੇ ਕੁਝ ਲੋਕ ਇਸ ਦੀ ਨੁਕਤਾ ਚਿੰਨੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਸਮਾਂ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਆਫ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ ਹੈਰੀਟੇਜ ਤੇ ਮਲਟੀਕਲਚਰਿਜ਼ਮ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਗਾਈਡ ਕਰਨ ਦੱਸਣ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਕਿਸ ਦਿਸ਼ਾ ਚ ਇਸ ਮੁਲਕ ਨੂੰ ਤੇ ਮਲਟੀਕਲਚਰਿਜ਼ਮ ਗਰੁੱਪਸ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਨ ਆਨਰੇਬਲ ਪਾਬਲੋ ਰੋਡਰਿਗਸ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਨ ਮਿਨਿਸਟਰ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਮਾਰਨਿੰਗ ਗੁੱਡ ਆਫਟਰਨੂਨ ਗੁੱਡ ਆਫਟਰਨੂਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਮੀ ਇਟਸ ਰੀਲੀ ਅ ਪਲੇਸ਼ਰ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੀਰ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਆਵਰ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ so uh, you are also in charge of the multiculturalism absolutely yes and it's also in in the title now before it was only minister of uh, canadian heritage now it's canadian heritage and multiculturalism why because it's really important for us for the prime minister for the government for the, for the team um and and this is what canada is all about right it's being able to able to be different but to be together as a nation and to go in one direction recently another member of parliament from conservative party uh, mr bernie has said that yes. multiculturalism and diversity will ruin dest- destroy canada yes so he's thinking that we are divided into different tribes and will mm. be divided more so what do you take on it well it's i think it's very sad um uh, and when mr bernie was talking about this and i was wondering which country is he talking about because i don't recognize myself in this i don't recognize Canada in this land where we are you 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 can come from anywhere in the world and we there's not important what the name the color or the religion is like we're all Canadians we come here to contribute to society i mean when you have some guts and you're ready to work hard you can succeed in this country it's not necessarily easy but when you work hard you can succeed and for mr belny to say that i think it's extremely sad it's a divisive speech um and i hope it stops since um i think uh, pierre really trudeau to justin trudeau uh, diversity has been promoted quite a bit what would you do now as a minister do you have any specific programs in place to promote diversity absolutely um it's not only important for us we're also investing in in diversity we're investing in in multiculturalism so we're at it 23 million in the last budget we're working on on the implementation now we're depending on how it's going to unfold but it's going to be money there to support our communities to support festivals or things like that when for example your community decides that to have this festival will be able to contribute um uh to showcase what you're doing because it's also a way to engage other you know uh, conversations between communities conversations between a specific community and people from everywhere that comes so we'll be able to support them financially so there's a financial part uh, uh, but more importantly i would say it's we strongly believe that diversity makes us stronger mm-hmm. so how do you take this um, truth and reconciliation with indigenous people recently uh, mr mcdonald's uh, statue has been removed from victoria and other things are happening in that nature a lot of people are upset about it what's your uh, take on that well i think the most important thing is the dialogue I, of course i cannot comment on which what what a city decides to do or not uh but i think that the truth and reconciliation process is extremely important we agreed to respect all the recommendations and the calls to action which we are doing at this moment and uh, and we're working in, in you know in, in making that a reality mhm i understand when you're talking about diversity you're from argentina, argentina i understand yes. yourself yes and there's a lot of people coming from different countries but living like a family here in this country uh there's a large group of south asian people and certain parts like surrey there's a lot of violence going on do you have any specific programs as a minister of multiculturalism to kind of uh, do something in order to control that or do you have some kind of resources to put in well there there will be uh, resources put in, into place uh, that were uh, also adopted in the last budget to fight uh, racism to and to consult about racism and see how we can find a solution not only as a government but also as a society uh it those are things that we don't want to see in our society we want a society where people coming from different places can respect each other work together play together grow together 
Uh, so there will be money on consultations on, on, on racism and discrimination to help us build programs um, so we can do better. Uh, certain governments, provincial governments, has employment equity programs. I understand that the federal government has a similar program. Employment equity is where you can give an equal opportunity to the uh, people of uh, different backgrounds. Yeah. So it reflects, actually, your workforce reflects the society that you're living in. So in certain areas, uh, there are a lot of South Asian people or people of color who live there. But when you see, look at the boards of directors, you look at the, you know, office uh, staff, they are pure white. And uh, oh, so, we can do better. Definitely, yeah. We can definitely do better as a nation. I have more people from diverse communities on boards, uh, on, on, uh, in, in different places in government. We're definitely encouraging that in government. But if you look at the actual government, just to Trudeau's government, and you see the importance of South Asians, for, and speci more specifically the Sikh community, who have four Sikh that are sitting in cabinet, which is the, probably the most important table meeting in, 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 in the country. Uh, it, that, that not only shows the respect for the Sikh community, but also shows that they bring so much mm -hmm. to the table that we need them. And that's why they're there. They're there because they're good. They, they're there because the prime minister believes that having people from different origins can bring more to the table. And, uh, and that's how we see the country. And that's where we're working in the direction of building the country. And minister also, you are the minister of CRTC. I guess so, yes. Yeah, and I'm, I'm learning every week what yeah, I'm a minister of, yeah. You're a very powerful person. Well, not exactly. I'm a very busy person, powerful, I'm not that sure. So, <laughs> so, so being the minister in charge of the CRTC, are you planning to increase or enhance the ethnic broadcasting? Um, at, at this moment, uh, those are, I have to discuss with my team and be briefed on, it's one of the files that are meeting the, me, the, the, the team on. Uh, as, you, as you know, there's so many... Um, uh, structures that depend on, on my own department. So uh, I've been briefed on some. I'm still waiting for briefing on others. But one of the first things that I wanted to do, and I asked the team this, is to be on the ground, go meet communities, go around the country, talk to people that know, the, that can talk to us about their own reality. So, how, so we can evaluate how we're doing, how our programs are doing, and maybe, maybe improve some of them, if possible, based on their recommendations. They know way more than I do about their own real, reality, and I'm being here very humbly uh, to learn. The Prime Minister of Canada, Mr. Justin Trudeau, has been bang, bending backwards in a way in order to accommodate all kind of people like from different backgrounds. And also, uh, to eliminate racism, uh, your government has done a lot of things. Are there any new strategies in place in order to tackle with racism? Uh, as I was mentioning to you, there's this new fund that would allow us to, to uh, carry out a, a, a consultation that will allow us to really have a map of what's going on, understand the reality a bit more, uh, and work on some tools, how to fight discrimination and uh, racism uh, in our country. But uh, And there has to be many, many dialogues, and we also have to show by example, the government. But you know what? At this, you succeed together. I mean, the government can do whatever they want, but they can only show you the way and make, make some decisions. The rest is also up to us. We have all of us, including you and all of us, have mm -hmm. responsibilities um, to build this country in, in an in a open, uh, in a very open way, in a very welcoming way. Um, and, and to be honest, Canada, as of now, it's, it's not perfect, but... It's doing pretty good. I mean, in terms, if you look at internationally, we are respected for, for we, who we are. Can we do better? Of course, we can always do better. But I think we should keep working on the Canadian model, which is an inclusive model. And I, I was looking at, uh, at your sign there, reflecting ethnic diversity. Mm -hmm. We're a very diverse country. That's not a weakness. That's a strength. Minister, anything you'd like to say in closing? Well, thank you for, for, for inviting me here. It's an honor to be, to be with you. It's, here, it's my... It's my first visit. I love VC, but today's my first visit as a, as a minister, and I'll be back uh, many times. I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in, and we'll be talking again. Thank you very much. Thank you. He is a minister, Canadian Heritage, the Multiculturalism, the Honorable Pablo Rodriguez.